This is Michelle of Clarinet Mentors, and today I want to show you one of my very favorite tricks for making an old reed play a lot better. If you don't know this, it's really handy to know, and I guarantee you it will make some of your reeds last a lot longer than they already do. So, I have a reed here that's actually not that old. I've played on it about three or four times, but it's suddenly not working very well. This reed sounded fantastic the last time I played it. And when I tried playing it today, it was feeling really stiff, it was resistant, it was hard to blow, and it was sounding fuzzy. So if you have a reed that suddenly seems to act stiffer, be suspicious that the back of your reed is getting warped. Um, reeds do get softer over time, but they won't get stiffer. Uh, so instead, what tends to happen, if we look at the back of our reed, um, sometimes on an older reed you can actually see the little window where it goes across the window of your mouthpiece. You can almost see that built into your reed. And if you look at the back of one of your older reeds, I'm sure you'll know what I mean. Uh, if I take my finger on this reed and rub it on the smooth back side, I can actually feel a rough spot where uh, the wood that goes over that mouthpiece window has swollen up. And this is what happens. As it gets wet and dries out, it kind of swells up so that it's no longer flat. Now, the way that causes us trouble as a player is when this reed is put back onto the mouthpiece. Of course, you know, we want the reed to vibrate like crazy against the mouthpiece, but we also want it to sit flat all the way against the mouthpiece up to that point where the mouthpiece comes away from the reed, which is about here. What happens if your, the back of your reed is warped is you actually get air leaking out the sides here. Not so much that you'd necessarily hear it, but what you'll feel is it's hard to play. So, there's a really easy way to check to see if the back of your reed is warped. If you feel it with your finger and you can kind of feel that rough spot about halfway down, odds are it's warped, but here's how you check it. What you'll need is a flat piece of plastic or glass. So there are some tools you can buy. This is a tool that Van Doren made, it's called a reed resurfacer, and it has a plastic edge here, just smooth plastic that's perfectly flat. So. I used to have a homemade version where I just went to a dollar store and I got a picture frame that was, you know, for a small size photo and I used the glass surface of that. The way that I would check to see if this reed is warped is I'm going to set it on the flat surface, just with the flat part of the reed on the flat surface, and I'm going to put a finger on, on the very edge of the reed, right about where we have the curve in it, and I'm going to gently press on either side. What I want to see is if this reed sits perfectly flat on that flat surface or if it wobbles a bit like this. If it wobbles, that's not a good sign. It shows us the back of the reed is no longer flat, and that's really common. So normally, I would just draw this up to eye level, and I would press on either side, and I would look to see if it wobbles. Now, in fact, this reed does have a bit of a wobble in it. I'm not sure how much we're going to see that on the camera, but I'll hold it up to the camera so you would get a view of it as well. All right, so. I gently push on either side and in fact this reed does wobble a little bit. I think it's a little hard to see that through the computer camera but what I'll observe is that it wobbles side to side. It's not sitting flat and when you're looking at it close up it's very easy to see. So I want to illustrate how this reed sounds right now being a little bit warped and then I'm going to fix it and play again and you'll hear the difference and you'll see why this might be something that you want to try at home. So I'm just going to put that reed on my mouthpiece as it is, a little bit warped, and I'll just play a two octave C scale. <laughs> how we fix it. Very simple. What we need is our flat surface, again our glass or our plastic, and we want to just put some fine sandpaper on it. If you're making a homemade version, something like 400 grain, usually the higher number the uh, finer it is. And what we're going to do is put our reed flat on that surface, we're going to put our fingers on it, and we're just going to lightly press and sand. And I've heard that doing it in a figure eight pattern is kind of the best for the wood. So. Um, this particular reed resurfacer has a rougher uh, surface on one side and a smoother one for finishing it. So since this one was pretty bad, 
I'm going to start on the rougher side and I'm just going to sand it a little bit. Sometimes I like to take a look at it after I've sanded it a bit. And what you'll often see is little stripes on the back of shiny sanded surface. And that's the little, kind of the little tubes that run through the cane. Um, those are the ones that sort of swelled up. And now we're flattening those ones back to make the back of the reed flatter. And this is going to make it much easier to play. Now, this is easiest to do when your reed is dry. So if you have some reeds sitting around in your reed case, a great thing to do is sort of test them when they're all dry, flatten them out, and then they'll play better as you're doing it. But I can do it when it's wet. Now I'm testing the reed, having just sanded it. I'm holding it back up to eye level, and it's still wobbling a little bit. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit more. And then I'm going to get it wet and play it for you. And you'll hear the difference. I, I like to have a little container of water for my reeds and then I can just dip the tip in and then I don't have to sit there and have it in my mouth. So that's what I did. I just got it wet again. The sanding it will definitely dry it out and I'm putting it back on the mouthpiece and I'll try that same scale and uh, I should feel that it's a lot easier to play because my air is not being wasted by leaking out. Here we go. <laughs> Much easier for me to play. Hopefully that sounds better if I just take my open G. I don't hear that hiss in the sound that I heard before. And I guess you'll have to take my word for it if it's not coming through on the speaker so well, it's much easier to play. I'm sure if you have three or four reeds kicking around that you've been playing for a while, that at least one of them is warped. So check this out and do it. It's amazing how quickly it brings new life to it. I have many students who come to me on a weekly basis who will come in reeds in hand and ask me to fix them with my reed resurfacer. So like I said, you can do a handmade one with a piece of glass, just putting a fine piece of sandpaper on. Some people will actually glue it on so that it's secure. You can do that. Um, this is a Van Doren reed resurfacer. I don't think they make the plastic ones anymore, but they do have one now that's glass and it has a rough surface etched directly into the glass like sandpaper. I have some students who use that and they really like it. Um, also, I mentioned last week, I really like Thomas Ridenauer's single reed technique uh, adjusting system and that comes with a piece of glass and all the different sandpaper that you need along with an excellent DVD that gets into some really finer aspects of reed adjustment. So this one trick has extended many of my old reeds into much greater life and I would recommend that you try it at home. Thanks for listening. If you've enjoyed this pointer to make your reeds play better, and you would like other great pointers on how to make clarinet playing easier and more fun, I invite you to join my clarinet mentors community. This video was actually created for one of our bi-weekly newsletters that goes out for free to everyone in the clarinet mentors community. Every issue of the newsletter will have some easy clarinet pointer, like the one you just watched, that makes it easier to play. You'll also hear about interesting clarinet equipment and any other special offers that I have coming my way. So to go to the Clarinet Mentor site, all you need to do is look at the website that's listed below, www.learnclarinetnow.com. And there's a simple sign up form for you to sign up for the Clarinet Mentors community. You'll also get instant access to a bunch of other free videos that have a lot of great information about clarinet playing. Hope to see you there.